Capacities is like a blank canvas for your mind, offering you an innovative way to store and organize information. Think of it as a studio, where you can structure all the thoughts bouncing around in your brain, turning chaos into clarity. So, whether you're trying to keep track of personal projects, academic work, or anything in between, Capacities is here to help you make sense of it all. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of getting started with Capacities, and how to use it to organize your life. Let's dive in. Let's get you started with the basics of signing up. You're going to want to head over to the Capacities website first. Once you're there, the first thing you'll notice is the Get Started Now button that's either right in the center or up in the top right corner. Don't worry, you can't miss it! When you click on that button, you're going to be taken to the registration page where you can enter your email address and set up a password for your account. Here's a tip, make sure to choose a strong password. It's one of those things that can save you a lot of trouble later. Keep it secure by mixing uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Once you've entered your email and password, go ahead and click register. Simple enough, right? After that, Capacities will send you a verification email. Check your inbox for the message, or spam folder. Sometimes these things slip through. Inside, you'll find a link you need to click in order to verify that the email is really yours. Once you click that, you're one step closer to having full access to your account. After email verification, you'll be taken to the Capacities dashboard, and you'll be able to start organizing your thoughts, ideas, and projects. Once you're logged in and you've made it to the dashboard, let's take a moment to explore. This dashboard is where you're going to spend most of your time, and Capacities really does a great job of making it user-friendly. It's clean and simple, which helps you focus on what matters without being overwhelmed by options. On the left side, you'll see a panel, and this is where you'll find all the important features. One of the first things you'll notice is the Spaces section. This is the core of how Capacities helps you organize everything. Think of spaces like digital folders. You can make a space for anything, a work project, a creative idea, your personal journal, or even a spot just for random thoughts you want to jot down. If you've already created some spaces, you'll see them listed here. If this is your first time using Capacities, then there's a big plus new button waiting for you. When you click that, you'll be guided through a simple process to create a new space. You can choose a name that reflects the content you plan to keep in that space or, if you like, you can pick a cute icon, emoji, anyone, to represent the space instead. I think choosing an emoji is super fun because it's a quick way to identify your spaces visually. Once your space is created, it'll appear under the Spaces tab on the left-hand side, and you can access it anytime by clicking on it. Easy, right? Now, let's take a deeper dive into creating your first space. This is where you'll truly start making capacities your own. Spaces are the perfect way to organize your tasks, ideas, and projects in a way that makes sense for you. Whether you're managing work projects, planning your next vacation, or even brainstorming a new business idea, this is where everything comes together. Head back to the dashboard, and when you're ready, look for the plus new button. Once you click on it, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to name your space. The name you choose can be as simple or as creative as you want. For example, you could go with something straightforward like work projects or travel plans. Or you could take a more fun approach and call it something like brainstorming zone or creative corner. The possibilities are endless, so it's all about what fits your needs best. If you're feeling extra creative, you can skip the name and choose an emoji or icon instead. You'll be presented with a variety of cute, 
colorful icons and emojis to choose from. It's an easy way to give your space personality, so don't feel shy about picking something fun. Whether you choose an icon or a name, once you're satisfied with your choice, click Create Space. And just like that, you've created a new space. It's worth mentioning that you can create as many spaces as you want. There's no limit, so feel free to set up different areas for different topics or projects. That way, everything stays organized and easy to find. Over time, you'll be able to look at your spaces and immediately know what's what just based on the names or icons you've chosen. Now that you've got your space set up, it's time to start adding content. In capacities, the content you create will be stored inside pages. These are individual documents or entries that can hold everything from written notes to images, tables, and more. So, let's add a page. Inside your space, you'll notice a plus new content button. Click it, and you'll see several options, like page, task list, or table. For now, let's focus on creating a page. After selecting page, you'll be asked to give the page a title. This is where you can get more specific about what the page will contain. For example, if it's a brainstorming session for a new idea, you might name the page Marketing Strategy Ideas. Once you've added a title, you can start customizing your page. At this point, you're free to dive into the content creation part. You'll notice a blank canvas where you can begin typing your ideas, notes, or whatever content you need to record. The beauty of Capacities is that it gives you a lot of freedom to organize that content in whatever way makes the most sense to you. Once your page is created, the next step is making it yours. You can customize it with icons, descriptions, cover images, and even adjust the layout. Here's where you get to play around a bit and really personalize things. Start by hovering over the title of your page, and a small menu will pop up. One of the first options you'll see is Add Icon. Click that, and a range of emojis and icons will appear. Choose one that best represents the page. I think using an emoji is a great way to quickly identify what each page is about. For example, you might want a light bulb icon for your ideas page or a calendar for a schedule page. Next up is the Add Description feature. When you hover over your title, you'll see the option to add a description to your space. This is incredibly helpful for giving a little more context about the page's content. Whether you want to include a short summary, a key point about the page's purpose, or just some extra details to help jog your memory later on, the description box is a great tool for adding clarity. For example, if your space is dedicated to tracking a specific project, you can write a few sentences about the project's goals, deadlines, and important milestones. This ensures that you always have a reminder of what the space is focused on. But wait, there's more. You can also add a cover image to really personalize your space. If you love visuals, this is a fun feature that will make your page look even more engaging and eye-catching. You have several options for this. You can upload a photo directly from your computer, paste a link to an image you want to use, or even choose one of the gorgeous images available in the Unsplash database. The cover image will appear at the very top of your space, creating an inviting and visually appealing first impression. This is an excellent way to reflect the theme or vibe of the content within the space. For example, if it's a travel planning space, you might use an image of a beautiful destination, or for a work project, a sleek and professional image might be more appropriate. All these customizations work together to give your page a unique personality and make it stand out in a way that's personal to you. By adding a description and a cover image, you'll not only be able to remember the purpose of your space but also enjoy navigating it. 
The best part is that these customizations can always be adjusted later if you feel like changing things up as your space evolves. Here's something that's super cool. You can also change the layout of your page. By default, your space will use the standard layout, but you have the option to switch it to a wide layout if you need more room for your content. This is a fantastic feature, especially if you're working with large images, need extra space for detailed charts, or have long blocks of text that you want to display without feeling cramped. The wide layout gives your page a more open feel, allowing your content to breathe and making it easier for your audience to view everything without having to scroll endlessly. Switching between layouts is as simple as clicking a button at the top of the page. When you select the wide layout, you'll instantly see how much more room you have to work with. It's perfect for creating a more dynamic page where images and text flow together seamlessly. The best part is that you can easily toggle between layouts at any time to suit your needs. If you're building something with multiple sections, the wide layout gives you a bit more freedom to organize things how you like. Depending on the nature of your project, you might find that one layout works better than the other. For instance, a project with heavy imagery might look great with a wide layout while a more text-based project might do fine with the standard layout. Don't hesitate to experiment and see which option feels best for your content. You can always switch back and forth as your page evolves, giving you total flexibility to adapt to whatever you're working on. Now it's time to really fill up your page. Just click anywhere on the page and start typing. You can keep adding content by clicking on the plus icon which lets you insert new lines, sections, and points. The best part about capacities is that it's all customizable. If you want to make certain sections stand out, you can bold text, italicize, or even change the text color. If you prefer lists, you can add bullet points or numbers to make your content more organized. Just highlight the text, and the formatting bar will appear with options for bolding italicizing, adding links, and more. This is where you can get creative with how your content is presented. 